we've improved tremendously in the 29 years I've been here. It's, uh, it's always been very good, top-notch place, but it's better now, it's more professional. I was born in West Virginia, and my parents moved to Fort Wayne, Indiana when I was four years old. It was a lovely place to grow up, but when it came time to go to college, I wanted to see a different part of the country. And this is completely true. Saturday afternoons after the football games, the GE College scoreboard would come on, and just looking at the schools that were listed on the GE College scoreboard, I thought the name, William and Mary, what an intriguing name for a school. I started looking into it and discovered that it was a very good school. When I got in, I uh, ultimately decided to, to take the leap and I uh, showed up in the fall of 1967. When we were freshmen, of course, they locked up the women uh, every night. I think it was maybe 10 or 11 on weekdays and they gave them an extra hour on the weekends. The men, of course, or boys, uh, had no prideal hours. We were free to do whatever we wanted to. I lived in Tolliver my uh, first year, Tolliver B1. And then my senior year I got an apartment which was uh, the old Taylor building that we recently, uh, in the last few days, right. last few months, tore down. I remember briefly sitting in the James Blair when it was the administration building protesting some rule or other. And, uh, of course, when the campus police asked everybody to leave, being William Murray students, we all got up and politely left the building. But I have no idea what the issue was, none whatsoever. I do enjoy teaching. I, I, that's the other thing about William & Mary and, and the liberal arts university, the idea of a liberal arts university and the balance. I think there, there are precious few places, I can't even name one right now, that truly balance the teaching and research as well as William Mary does. You are expected to do research and you, we want to hire people that want to do research and certainly in economics we have absolutely no dead wood. Every single one of us is working on some kind of research project. At the same time we value the teaching. It, it's, you know, our merit system, our tenure system, our promotion system, weight them equally, and both, I think, are truly equally weighted. The William and Mary students are absolutely first rate. They're, they're even better than they were when I was here. I care about the place. I care about maintaining uh, the balance. I want administrators to consult with faculty about important issues and if you don't, if they're not pressed continuously, it's too easy just to make a decision and go on. I don't expect the faculty to get to make the decisions. You know, I have seen provosts and presumably presidents, past provosts and presidents, not the current ones, um, fail to act boldly because they were afraid if we increase tuition by one more percent, all of a sudden demand's going to fall off. But we've never really pushed the envelope to the edge, and I'm not sure I want. I want to get a little closer to that edge. I've been involved with this institution for a, a long time, and it, it sometimes drives me absolutely bonkers. But bottom line, it's just a, a very, you know, I'm very loyal to it.